It had all the makings of one of those great MVP arguments that carried on for years, like DiMaggio and Williams in 41, Rice and Guidry in 78, Ripken and Murray in 82. But then the become Barry Bonds found 40 knots of second wind. Friday, Saturday, and again Saturday. Then down one nothing to Doug Brokale again Sunday. Okay, end of discussion. The man who helped restore the San Francisco Giants, probably the best defensive player at his position in the National League, in the top three in batting, homers, RBI, slugging, on-base percentage, and runs, is definitely the MVP. He's earned it four straight years. Of course, he didn't always win it, but at 29, soon we can start looking at Barry Bonds' place in history. Really, the only awards race that could be determined by who comes up where in the last pennant race is the National League Cy Young Award. To this point, Greg Maddox has been the most consistent, best pitcher in the league for the entire season. But this last week offers the opportunity for Billy Swift, Tom Glavin, or John Burkett to steal it away. Pennant race emotions run deep. Otherwise, the major awards are pretty obvious. Frank Thomas is the AL MVP, maybe unanimously. Jack McDowell is the Cy Young. Not that he really pitched better than Kevin Apier for the entire season, but because he fronted the White Sox staff, stood out front and allowed Alex Fernandez, Wilson Alvarez, and Jason Bure to develop without pressure. Tim Salmon and Mike Piazza are the obvious rookies of the year. Comebacks? Andres Galarraga, from the 1992 disappointment created by the broken wrist, the succession of injuries kept him under 260 since the Reagan administration, has been one of the game's great stories. This is one at 400, being the first expansion batting champion, the all-time expansion RBI leader. And Bo Jackson deserves one sort of award. To reach one homer, let alone 14, after all he went through is inspiration enough for an award. But the real comeback player of the year in the American League is Alan Trammell. The White Sox wanted their race over as early as possible so Thomas can rest his left arm, which he hasn't been able to extend since crashing into the photographer's well in Anaheim last week. To his credit, Frank ignored his stats and played because, even hurt, he knows what his presence means to the White Sox lineup. And speaking of character, hats off to McDowell. When asked by reporters about his contract, Jack snapped that this is not the time for contracts, this is the time to win games. If you are Jim Lefevre and a lot of other people in the Cubs organization, you might be uneasy picking up the Chicago Tribune this week. While the Sun-Times is covering the Cubs' final trip to Pittsburgh and on out to the West Coast, the Tribune is not, which means the parent company doesn't think their baseball team is worth reporting on. And here we thought, They'd had a pretty good season. This is Peter Gammons.